Conor McGregor, the former UFC featherweight and lightweight champion, has expressed his interest in a rematch with Khabib Nurmagomedov. But didn't he defeat him in 2018? He did, but McGregor looks like he's thirsty for the undefeated Russian. The Irishman took to social media to voice his desire for a rematch, saying that he is ready to fight Khabib again. He bragged that he was actually winning the first fight before the controversial submission loss. Despite McGregor's eagerness for a rematch, it remains uncertain if and when the two will step back into the octagon together. Khabib has retired from MMA and has not shown any interest in returning. But even then, their potential rematch has been one of the most talked about fights in MMA. That should tell you just how much hype there is around it. While McGregor may not be chasing Khabib, he remains one of the biggest names in the sport of MMA and will continue to be a major player in the years to come. Whether or not he will get a chance to face off against Khabib again remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure, the MMA world will be watching closely. But for those of you who might not know, McGregor and Khabib faced off in 2018 in what is considered one of the biggest fights in MMA history. The fight ended with Khabib defeating McGregor. It's under the net. There it is. Nope, it's on the chin. There's the tap. Yeah. Still undisputed. Khabib Nurmagomedov. But the aftermath was filled with controversy as a post-fight brawl broke out between the two fighters' teams. Ever since the fight, McGregor has been calling for a rematch with Khabib, but it seems like he won't be chasing the 2018 conqueror this time. In a recent interview, McGregor stated that he wants to fight the Russian again, but he won't be going out of his way to make it happen. His statement came as a surprise to many fans, as the Irish fighter is infamous for his aggressive and insulting approach toward his opponents. However, this time, he seems to be taking a more relaxed approach, stating that he will wait for Khabib to come to him. The reason for this change of heart could be due to his recent focus on his whiskey business, Proper Number 12. He has been putting a lot of time and effort into the brand, and it seems like he wants to focus on that for now. He has stated that he is not in a rush to get back into the octagon, and that he will only fight when the time is right. This doesn't mean that McGregor is not interested in fighting, he has been staying in shape and has been sparring regularly in preparation for his next fight but he's also made it clear that he will not accept just any fight. He wants a big fight with a big opponent, and he won't settle for anything less. As for Khabib, he has stated that he is open to the idea of a rematch with McGregor. However, he's also made it clear that he won't be the one chasing the fight either. He wants McGregor to earn his way back into the octagon, and he won't make it easy for him. Khabib has also been busy, as he recently retired from MMA after defeating Justin Gaethje in his last fight. He has stated that he is happy with his decision to retire and that he has no plans to return to the octagon. I want to say, this it was my last fight. And no way I'm going to come here without my father. It was first time when, after what happened with my father. However, he has also left the door open for a possible comeback if the right opportunity presents itself. The McGregor vs. Khabib rematch is a fight that fans have been eagerly waiting for ever since the post-fight brawl. The tension between the two fighters has only added fuel to the fire, and the anticipation for the rematch has only grown. While it might take some time for the rematch to happen, fans can rest assured that both McGregor and Khabib are open to the idea. They both have their own reasons for wanting and not wanting the fight, and they won't settle for anything less than the best but it may not be as easy as it seems. The current lightweight champion has been going through a lot in his personal life. Khabib has been a dominant force in the lightweight division with a perfect record of 29 wins and zero losses. He has been the champion for over two years and has successfully defended his title three times. That's in, that's in. Nurmagomedov under the chin, there's the top! Khabib Nurmagomedov, 28-0! Incredible. The standard upon which all lightweights will be judged, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He is widely regarded as one of the best fighters in the world, and many consider him to be unbeatable. However, in recent months, Khabib has lost his father, Abdul Manap, who was a big influence on his life and his career. Abdul Manap was a former wrestler and martial artist, and he was instrumental in helping Khabib become a champion. The loss of his father was a big blow to Khabib, and it affected him deeply. Despite that, Khabib has continued to train and prepare for his next fight. 
He has been very focused on his career and has been working hard to maintain his perfect record. Meanwhile, Conor McGregor has been retired from MMA for over a year, but he has been hinting at a potential return to the sport. The Irishman has been very vocal about his desire to get a rematch with Khabib, and he has been calling for the UFC to make it happen. However, Khabib has been very quiet about all of this. He has been focused on his personal life and has not made any public statements about the Irishman's calls for a rematch. The death of his father has affected him deeply, but he is a champion and a warrior, and he is expected to bounce back from this tragedy. But it is unclear if a rematch between McGregor and Khabib will ever happen because of what happened last time. The Irishman has made it clear that he wants the fight to happen. He wants to avenge his loss to the Russian, and he wants to prove that he is still one of the best fighters in the world. The UFC 229 event between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov was one of the most highly anticipated fights in the history of the sport. I mean, he's the best round of pound artist in the sport. Oh, oh. he's getting lit up. The two fighters had a long-standing rivalry, and the tension between them was palpable leading up to the fight. However, what happened after the fight was what caught everyone's attention. Khabib Nurmagomedov defeated Conor McGregor via submission in the fourth round, but the celebration was short-lived as a brawl broke out between the two fighters and their teams. The melee involved several people, including Conor McGregor, who was seen throwing punches at one of Khabib's teammates. The incident caused chaos inside the octagon and was a black eye for the sport of MMA. I've been kidding when he said no handshake after the fight. Oh! Oh, geez. And now one of Nurmagomedov's teammates throws a right hand at Conor. All hell has broken loose! This is crazy. Since then, Conor McGregor has been speaking out about the brawl, and he has expressed regret over his actions. He has admitted that he was wrong and that he should have controlled his emotions, but the way he talked about the brawl, you could almost swear that he was the one who actually won the fight. I suppose bragging and talking smack about people is one thing he's just exceptionally good at. But even then, he has been an ambassador for the MMA for many years and has brought a lot of attention to the sport. He is one of the biggest stars of our time and has been a fan favorite for many years. However, his actions at UFC 229 have caused a lot of controversies and many fans have been critical of his behavior. The incident has overshadowed the fight and has taken away from the great performance of Khabib Nurmagomedov as well. But McGregor went on to say that the title should be taken away from Khabib if he's not going to defend it. Instead, we could be seeing a title fight happening between Poirier and McGregor instead. And we all know how that played out last time. See you in the next video.